common. Um, one of the problems we have is that society, I mean, has become very, very complex. And although mental health issues have existed since the beginning of, of time, you know, really, and many of those things have been genetic, um, there are various reasons why things are on the increase. Mental health issues are on, are, are on the increase. I mean, sometimes they don't have to be genetic. They don't have to have a pathology. I mean, sometimes they are caused as a result of depression or sadness or loneliness. Um, and it's becoming increasingly complex. And it's World Mental Health Day today. What does that mean? Well, it means basi basically that um, universally um, the, the world decides to mark the day as an event where you can commemorate, celebrate, um, you know, denounce um, issues to do with mental health and each year they, they choose a topic and, 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 and for that year they discuss it and, and they do things with it. Whether anything happens after that as a result of that day, that is debatable, but that is the purpose of it basically. And this year's theme is psychological first aid. What does that mean and how can people help? Well, I mean, basically, if you, the easiest way to explain it, if you have an accident, um, the people who are around you are going to be the first responders. They are going to be the first people to act. Um, and it's, it's a physical accident. They might, you know, just put a plaster on or they might do all sorts of things that are first aid type. When we talk about mental first aid, um, it means that if you have someone who uh, is in some sort of a crisis or has some sort of a breakdown, um, you would be trained to know what to say, what not to say, how to respond, how to behave in particular ways. What is important to us is that we cannot just sit back um, and accept um, that things are moving on and, 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 and we find it increasingly, we're frustrated that you know, progress is so slow. Uh, there's certain things that we would like moving on um, and in the last two years we've been working to get that sort of change and, and quite frankly all we tend to see, you know, I don't know, the, you know, the Marish Castle in pink, green or yellow and, and uh, you know, yellow walk and quite frankly we're a bit fed up of all that. We want to see real concrete action. What kind of things? What kind of things? Basically we've listed all sorts of things. The psychological first aid is one of the most important ones because obviously that's a crisis point. Uh, in crisis situations, Gibraltar handles the situation incredibly badly. Um, working with young, with young people, again, shouldn't we be working at you know, preventing the escalation of mental health issues? We should be working to do that. Government promised, not in this manifesto, in the previous one, that they would employ Two, teach, um, two counsellors in, 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 in every, every school. They haven't even employed one counsellor for the whole of the education system. So you can imagine, you know, we're thinking, well, what's happened? And it's all gone very, very quiet. In this year's manifesto, there's, 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 a, uh, you know, there's no inkling that anything is going to happen.